Hi, my name is Josie and I'm the Manager of Customer Success here at EdSite. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a new class in your account, how to find an assignment in the assignment library, how to send that assignment to your students, and then how to review reports for that assignment. Let's get started. Now that I've created my new EdSite account, I need to add classes into my account. I can import my classes from Google Classroom by clicking this button. I can import my classes from Clever by clicking this button, or I can create a new class in my EdSite account. Let's create a new class. I'm going to click this button, enter my class name. I can see there's a class code, there's a status, and there's a space for notes, which I can add to if I desire then I'm going to click the Create button. This will navigate me to my class page where I can see that this class has been created. I will notice that my class code is listed right above here. I'm going to ask my students to log into their account, click Join Class, enter that class code, and their information will automatically be uploaded into this account and I'll be ready to go to look for assignments. Now that my class has been created, I'm ready to find an assignment to send to my students. I clicked on Assignments, and then I clicked on Library. I know these are selected because they are written in green font and they are underlined in green. Next, you can search the library by term, or you can browse standards and find out which assignments are aligned to your state standards. Today I'm going to search by term. I'm going to look for an addition assignment for my students. So I'm going to write the word addition here and then I can either click enter on my keyboard or I can click this magnifying glass. You will see that my results have populated below. Next I can filter my results by grade or by subject, by standard, by number of questions, by multimedia, or by grading. For right now, I'm just going to filter my results by grade and by subject, so I'm going to click the down arrow, unselect everything, select second grade, since that's the grade I'm teaching, and click done. Next, I'm going to select the down arrow beside subject, uncheck everything, select math, and then click done. You will see that I have all of my results populated below that match with my filters. Next, I can view 10 assignments per page, or I can choose more. And I can sort by my results by popularity or newest or oldest. I think that this basic number sentence practice to prepare dinner might be a great assignment for me to use. So what I do is I click the preview button to see if it's going to work with my students. I click the Start Assignment button, and I move through the assignment seeing if it matches my goals for my students. If it does, I'm going to come back to the library and I'm going to click the Assign button. Here, I can assign to my classes, I can assign to specific students, or I can assign with a link. This link can easily be posted into Google Classroom or I can copy it on my board so that my students can copy it. For now, I'm going to assign it to a specific class. I'm going to assign it to period one. I can change the start date and I can change the due date. So the start date says now, I'm going to leave it as is. But for the due date, I'm going to add a due date of next Monday. So you can see that students can access the assignment right away, but they will not be able to access the assignment after next Monday. Once I'm finished, I'm going to click the Assign button, and I receive a confirmation page that says I've successfully scheduled one assignment to one class with seven students. At this point, I can close this box and go back to my assignment library. I can click Manage Assignment and add more students or classes to this assignment, 
or I can click view live progress and watch my students who have just opened the assignment and started working in it. Now that I have sent the assignment to my students, I'd like to watch them move through the assignment on the live progress report. The way I do that is I go to reports and I can tell I'm in reports because it's written in green and the green underline is under it. I'm next going to choose the assignment name. Then I can look at a specific class if I want to or I can look at all my classes and then I click Live Progress. Here I can see all of the students in my class. I can see that 42.9% are not opened, 28.6% are in progress, and 28.6% have submitted the assignment. I can move down the page and I can see all of my student names here, and I can see how they're working through the assignment. The black ring means that that is the question they are currently working on in my classroom. So Daisy Duck is working on question number three and Donald Duck is working on question number two. These dark gray highlighted lines mean that these students have submitted their work. So both Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse have completed their assignments and they have submitted it to me for grading. Next, I will notice that any of the red dots uh, mean that the student has received 0 to 50% on that specific question. Any of the green dots mean that, that the student has received 51 to 100% on that question. And any of these dots with the lines in it means that this is a teacher graded question. Now sometimes I've assigned this assignment quite a while ago and I don't remember exactly what the question looks like. I would move further down the page and I can click the preview to see what that specific question looks like or I can click view entire assignment to see what the entire assignment looks like. Once I'm done with this page and I'm ready to grade the page, grade the assignment, I'm going to move over to the Grade Assignment tab. Here is where I can grade the assignment. Now, we know that both Daisy Duck and Donald Duck are currently working on their assignment and have not submitted it. If I want to see what their work is, I can click the Show Work link to see their work. Now since Mickey Mouse has submitted his assignment, I see here his status is submitted, this is his score, and he submitted it on this date. I can click on the plus button and I can see his results and his answers for each question. I can move through the question numbers by clicking on the number. I can add remarks by clicking the add remarks button and he would see those remarks in his account. I could click show question response to see the actual question that's being answered from the student view. I can add a bonus point so you can see here there's two bonus points for this question. I can also change the points of the question if I so desire and everything will be tabulated. If I was interested in grading by question, instead of grading by student, I could just toggle to this grade by question tab. I could then choose the number, question number that I would like to grade. So say we want to grade question six. I would click the open all button and it would open all of the responses for question six for all of my students in this class. Now remember, all of the teacher graded questions will have a yellow underline under the question number. So if question four was a teacher graded question, you would see a yellow underline under question four. Once I've finished grading my students' work, I'm going to toggle over to the summary report. The summary report is the perfect summary of how my students have done in the assignment. Over here is all of the information about the assignment. The name of the assignment, the date it was last modified, the question count, the total points, 
the number of students who have been assigned the assignment, the number of students who have submitted the assignment, and um, the number of classes I have assigned the assignment to. I can also look here, this is my name and school, and here this graph gives me a lot of information. It's a bar graph that tells me how, each, how my students are doing overall by question and how much time they are spending on each question. You can also click this Submission Status button to see how many students have not yet opened the assignment, how many students have opened the assignment, and how many students have submitted the assignment. If I move down the page in my summary report, I can see that these colors are mirrored from this graph. So the green are all the students who have submitted, the orange are all the students who have opened the assignment and not yet submitted, and the red are all the students who have not yet opened the assignment. I can look at this data by question or by standard, by percentage, or by point. If I want to, I can also export this data to a CSV. I can also click this button to show more filters that are available on each column. I can then move down the page and look at aggregate data. I can see the minimum and maximum scores for each question, and I can also see the standard deviations and the averages. This information can also be exported to CSV or copied to my clipboard. If you need help with this or anything else on EdSight, please feel free to click the Help button located at the bottom of your screen.